All right, guys. Uh, I'm trying to do this little solar thing. I used that signature solo uh, place that was recommended by, I believe that was Real Pros, these $50 panels. They're 250 watts a piece. So what I did was I got this plugged into my Blue Eddy. So these are 250 watts a piece. So it's a thousand watts total. What I did was I did two of them in series, two of them in series. So that's 500 in series, 500 in series. And I added them up in uh, parallel. The reason why I got these on the floor, I got a fence here and I got my house here. Uh, and I got these on the ground. Uh, that's how I had a panel in the past. Uh, so we got some shading issues. So I just wanted to make sure that I can compensate for that. Um, it's just a little makeshift little thing. I just got these little panels behind it. Hopefully it doesn't break the panel. So I got that supporting it. Uh, I got this just sitting on the old bench I made. And this is what I got going. So it took me a while to look at videos. Um, so I just want to share it just in case somebody want to see it quickly. These are the negatives. So I hooked the two negatives together here. And then I took... I'm sorry, the two, uh, the positive and the negative together. So positive to negative, okay? And then that leaves uh, a positive lead here and a negative lead here. As you can see, they're marked sometimes. Sometimes it's not marked, but that's the negative lead, okay? So it says minus there. And I combined that in this little parallel cable. I got this parallel cable, I think this Bouge RV, this parallel cable. So I took this negative here and I'm taking the negative from this series. Once again, hook the positive and the negative together to make these two panels in series. And then took the negative from one and a positive from the other. So now I got the two. These are my positive cords in parallel. These are my negative cords in parallel. Negative is going to this black. Positive going to the red so i got that it's just along the floor right now these were rated to be outdoors so hopefully they should be okay they don't deteriorate too much uh if so leave a comment let me know if i need to kind of uh, put it into some conduit and i got these going into the house gotta close this in and this is an old antenna i made some of you guys see my antenna video so that's going in there i'm gonna paste that in and that's going to the to the blue eddy so let's go inside and see how much we're pulling. As you see, I got it there. All right. So now I've got, this is the three cables coming into the house, the cable, then I got the two solar, positive and negative, going down, get it hooked up. These MC4 connectors, this is the, um, the XT, uh, I think it was the 390. Um, plug that I got the Anderson connector so I got that hooked into here and this came with the blue eddy this came with the blue eddy and it's going into as you see it's a cloudy day and I'm still getting 300 watts so that's perfect let's look at the voltage I had the TV on all day right now I got my TV well it's turned off now so um, I got the internet and uh, what else load I have in there Oh, the router, the router and the modem, and the TV, and the fan. The fan is pulling some phantom power, so that's 72 watts. So I got 313. Uh, if I can get this to fill this up, and remember, this is a cloudy day. So if this can fill up on a cloudy day, uh, that sh that should be enough to last indefinitely. Um, the only issue is this has a limit of 700 watts. So we got to see how that's going to work. Um, from what I'm hearing from posts, I looked on posts on Facebook and everything, and they said it could take as, as long as I don't exceed 150 volts and I don't exceed uh, uh, 30 amps. So I should be okay when it comes to that. As you see, I'm only pulling 5 amps. So let's say we double it. If, even if we double it, that's still 15 amps. Uh, that's well under the 30 amps. So, uh, I said 15, 10 amps. That's well under the 30 amps, so we should be good to go. Uh, 84 degrees battery. Uh, 
I got it actually pressed up against this storage box. This is the laundry room, the dungeon, if you see my other videos. Uh, but it's pulling in good. So 2000 watt battery. Um, it's six hours, so right now it's 12 o'clock. So uh, we should be good to go um, to fill this battery all the way up. And I'm, I'm assuming it's gonna be much less than that. Once again, 56 volts, five amps, 302 watts. This is a thousand watts worth of solar. Now, for the people that don't know, I'm in Chicago land. Uh, so I live in the Chicago land area, which is the Midwest uh, United States. So uh, we don't get much sun. Uh, today is it's supposed to be a sunny day, but it's really cloudy today. So we got a pretty harsh winter. That's why I wanted this in my laundry room. I plan on building this out a little more. I had this Blue 80 in my car for a time being, so I'm probably going to put this back in my car and bring in the um, 5,000 watt battery and a, a grow watt inverter. Uh, once I bring that in, that should um, give me a lot more uh, storage. And I had a TV on this about 170 watts plus with the uh, modem and the router. So with all that combined, talking about 200, that's 20 hours. I can make that up during the day. Because as you see, even if I got the TV on and everything, it's not taking up uh, enough power to drain this battery up. Once the sun is going out, even with the sun down, it's not draining enough uh, power to go down this battery. I just hooked this up. That's why it's 64%. I just did it. Showing you guys live. All right. Take care. Stop this. The sun came out. And about two hours later, it's 100% again already. Um, probably quicker than that. When the sun came out, I was getting up to 600 watts. And you see it says zero because it's 100% full. Um, I added the printer to it just to draw, like a vampire load. So that's pulling out 84 watts. I don't have the TV on still, so uh, we don't watch TV too much when kids doing their schoolwork. But that's where we are. All right.